To paraphrase Gary Lineker, the Russian parliamentary election is a simple game. 450 seats in the Duma, three days of voting, and at the end, United Russia always wins. They're the ruling party which supports Vladimir Putin. This was the mayor of Moscow celebrating with party supporters last night. Putin, Putin, Putin. Today, the head of Russia's Central Election Commission delivered the result in the way that you might report on bear activity in the woods. Throughout the last three days of voting, there have been the usual raft of videos that went viral purporting to show ballot box stuffing. This mysterious hand emerging out from under the Russian flag, for example. Or this piece of cardboard attempting to cover up a camera. <laughs> but in truth, the real story of this election was how years of tampering with the democratic DNA of a country paid off again for Vladimir Putin. The use of repressive measures, disinformation, electoral manipulation techniques hardly represent novelty in Russian politics. However, the 2021 State Duma elections, I think, are possibly one of the most uncompetitive and the least free and fair. So the latest crackdown on media, on opposition, on NGOs shows that the Kremlin targets um, uh, literally, literally everyone, everyone who is opposed to the regime. Case in point, this is Boris Vishnevsky. Our team met him in St. Petersburg last week, where he was standing as a candidate for the liberal Yablaka party against United Russia. A few weeks ago, the district's voting poster appeared with Boris Vishnevsky's details and that of the other candidates. Two other candidates appeared on the poster who had, wait for it, not only changed their names to Boris Vishnevsky, but also looked like him. Что касается вот таких двойников, то двойники встречались и раньше, но это были реальные однофамильцы. То есть люди, которые действительно носили такие же фамилии, как кандидаты, которым надо было помешать. Того, чтобы люди специально меняли имя, фамилию, еще и внешность, чтобы быть похожими на кандидата, которым надо помешать, такого раньше не было. Bizarrely, Boris knows who at least one of the doppelgangers is. Здравствуйте. We contacted them, but they wouldn't talk to us. The real Boris says that the lookalikes put themselves forward to confuse voters and split the opposition vote. He came second, by the way, in his district, behind the winning candidate from United Russia. Russian elections are an exercise in managed democracy. But the severity of the clampdown before this ballot on people like opposition leader Alexei Navalny on the independent media may suggest that democracy in Russia is getting harder and harder to manage.